welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see, this is not my usual like setup. I look like a literal gremlin right now, but I wanted to be comfy because you're not really going to be seeing my face much in this video because we are going to finish decluttering my makeup. Now, when I started getting older and getting more into makeup, I had so much of it. And now that I'm getting older and I don't really wear makeup every single day like I used to, it is time to really get, you know, right down to it and start decluttering some of it because I'm sure at least at least 60 to 70 if not more percent of my makeup is expired and we just need to go through it and get rid of it. I did already do my Jeffree Star Cosmetics stuff. I did do that last week off camera. I didn't even think to film it. Looking back now, I really wish I would have filmed it because that would have been really satisfying. So I already did that part, but we still have like my high-end stuff, drugstore, foundations, primers, concealers. We still have a bunch of stuff that we need to go through and declutter. I don't know if you can tell, but right here is where I keep all of my Jeffree Star cosmetic stuff. And I used to have every single one of these little shelves filled up with stuff. And I was able to clear out a great majority of it. So I got rid of some old skin frosts that don't really fit my skin tone. I kept all of my Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes but I just got rid of like some old highlighters anything that smelled kind of funny I got rid of but so that is my much smaller Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette collection and then over here this is all I have left of my Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipsticks I think I got rid of about 50 of my Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks and lipsticks just because they were extremely expired and just gross so I went through each one individually and got rid of all the expired ones and kept all the ones that are still good. So we did the lipsticks and the Jeffree Star cosmetic stuff. And we are going to be focusing on this white storage that you can see here. Every single one of these drawers is filled with makeup and we're just going to go through and get rid of a bunch of stuff just to make it easier on me. Uh, keep the stuff that I know I love, that I know I'm going to use on a more regular basis. And it is a very gloomy, cloudy Saturday morning. I am still in my pajamas. And we're just going to sit down and just go through some of this stuff and get rid of stuff. If you are offended by someone throwing makeup in the trash, this video is probably not going to be for you because there's going to be a lot of that in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we do that, let's go ahead and hear a word from our sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Dossier. For those of you who do not know what Dossier is, Dossier is an online perfume company that makes designer-inspired fragrances for way less than you would expect to pay but all with the same amazing quality, sophisticated and sexy scents for literally everyone. And right now they're having a December sale. You can get some of their stuff for up to 50% off. Not only do they have perfumes, they have candles and they have room diffusers, which I am very, very excited to try. I have never tried one of their room diffusers before and I just think this is a very, very cool thing. If you're someone who likes your house to smell good, but you're not really a perfume person, this is a great option for you. All of their fragrances are sustainably made, they are never tested on animals, and they are a full 50 milliliter bottle of fragrance, and their composition is meant to be long lasting. And since they are so long lasting, a full bottle of Dossier perfume will last you anywhere from two to three months, even longer. And they have scents from Armani, Dior, YSL, Chanel, and so, so many more. These are just so good. I have been working with Dossier and using Dossier for a very long time. And as you can see, I have quite a few scents by them and they are all just so, so good. And I smell fresh all the time. And now my house even smells fresh all the time as well. So if you guys are interested in trying out Dossier for yourself, I will have all the information and a link down in the description box. Thank you so, so much to Dossier for for continuing to work with me and for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get into the makeup declutter. So like I said, we're gonna be focusing on this kind of little drawer system of where I keep all of my makeup. As you can see, I have everything kind of labeled. So this is like eyebrow pencils and eyeliner. We have more higher end stuff here. 
foundations, concealers, and primers, loose powders, pressed powders, bronzer, blush, highlighter, and some drugstore eyeshadow palettes. So we're gonna just start at the top and then work our way down. And we're just gonna get started with this. So I'm gonna start up in the eyebrow and eyeliner drawer and start getting rid of stuff. So here we go. All right, so here's what the inside of this first drawer looks like. So as you can see, we have quite a few of my eyebrow pencils. We have more eyebrow stuff here, eyeliners, and some more stick eyeliners back here, and just some other stuff like press. We have pressed eyeshadows in here too, so we just, we have a lot of stuff going on in here. So let's go ahead and start with the eyebrow department right here, which this one should be easy because I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep all of this. These little white inserts I got off of Amazon. I just looked up like drawer organizers and these popped up. So I just picked up a lot of these and that's how I organize my makeup in these drawers instead of every having everything just kind of like loose floating around in here. So for eyebrows, I have quite a few of these eyebrow pencils. These are my all time favorite. This is just the e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift. Uh, eyebrow pencil with the little spoolie and again they're by e.l.f. They're really affordable and literally hands down my all-time favorite um, eyebrow pencil right now. I've been using these for maybe a little over a year now and as you can see I have a ton of them. Uh, every time I go to the store I like to stock up on them. I think I'm definitely for sure going to keep all of these and I also just have a little uh, pencil sharpener as well to sharpen any eyeliners. These are really gross. I should probably like wipe these down, but yeah. So eyebrows, I'm going to keep all of my eyebrow pencils. So that drawer is all good to go. Moving on to this one, it looks like we have a little bit of everything. So I have some liquid eyeliners. These are also by e.l.f. These are just the e.l.f. liquid eyeliners in black. I absolutely love this liquid eyeliner. It is one of my favorites, so I'm definitely going to hang on to those. It looks like I have a NYX Dip Shape and Go. I think this is like a some sort of like brow thing. I honestly cannot remember the last time I used this, and it's probably just old as dirt at this point, so I'm probably going to part with that one. Um, I just have, I just got this. This is a Jeffree Star Cosmetics, um, liquid eyeliner. Just looks like that. So that is relatively new still, so I'm going to hang on to that one. Um, it looks like we have an e.l.f. brow pomade, which I don't really use pomades on my brow very often. As you can see, I have not even used this before. But it really kind of smells like dusty Play-Doh, so I'm pretty sure that is expired, so we're probably going to throw that away as well. It looks like I have a NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel, and from what I remember, I only used this a couple times, but I think I remember I really liked it. So I think I'm going to hang on to it. Let me give it a smell. Okay, it still smells okay, so I'm probably going to hang on to this for a little bit longer. Let's see. Next, it looks like we have another e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil right here. I do not think... Yeah, it... Yeah, it doesn't really work that well, and it's just snapped off. And it's not even my color, so I'm probably going to get rid of that. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one, too. I think this is just like a drugstore taupe eyebrow pencil and yeah that is definitely not my color because I have jet black hair and that's just not gonna work. Next I have this Believe Beauty eyebrow pencil and this is in dark brown. Ooh, this one I actually might hang on to because this one is kind of similar to the e.l.f. one that I have, so I'll probably hang on to that guy. Then I have two of these CoverGirl brow pomades right here. I absolutely loved these. These were so, so good, but I don't know if they're good anymore. Like this one is like almost empty as you can see, so I'll probably part with that one. And this one, ugh, yeah, this one really stinks, but so I'm probably gonna get rid of this one as well, but I really, really enjoyed these pomades. They were some of my favorites for sure. All right, so that is good for brows. So I'm just gonna throw away all of that. Moving on, let's do these eyeshadows really quick. 
So it looks like I have two of these L'Oreal uh, Infallible eyeshadows. I have had these for so long, like uncomfortably long, to the point where I don't even feel safe using them anymore. And then I got this ColourPop Special Delivery Super Shock Shadow. I don't really use this all that often, so I'm probably going to part with this too, even though that is a really pretty color. It's just... I think it's just time to go because I just I just don't reach for these at all honestly so these I'm gonna throw away and lastly it looks like we have two brand new wet and wild liquid eyeliners I'm definitely gonna hang on to these the elf and the wet and wild liquid eyeliners are the best they're my favorites hands down so Definitely going to hang on to these. And then we have some eyeliners, lip liners, all kinds of fun stuff in here. So let's just go ahead and start. We have a Revlon liquid eyeliner, which I don't know if this one is good anymore. Let's give it a test. Oh yeah, that's still good. Okay, let's give it a smell. All right, it still smells okay, so I'm going to hang on to this one as well. Next, we have a very old Kat Von D tattoo liner. This one is probably just freaking, yeah, that's disgusting. So we're gonna throw that one away. Uh, next, we have a Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen. Oh, that's weird. Why did I buy this? Oh, that's still good. That's pretty good, actually. I actually might hang on to this for a little longer. Uh, next, we have these ColourPop Colorful Liquid Eyeliners. This one is in like a blue shade. Let's see if it's still... There we go. Just needed a little bit of a shake, I think. No, oh, no. This one's not good. We have a red ColourPop Liquid Eyeliner. Let's give this one a little bit of a test here. to her for a little longer and then this one is a pink ColourPop liquid eyeliner give her a shake and a swatch here hmm, that's still pretty good too okay so we're gonna keep the red and the pink and we got rid of the blue let's see next we have a I think this is like a spirit Halloween eyeliner that I had to get in like an emergency situation. Yeah, it's kind of crappy, so we're going to get rid of that one. We have my favorite eyeliner right now, which is the, I don't know if you can see that, but this is the Hard Candy Eyeliner. I absolutely love this one. It's called the Longwear Eyeliner 12 Hour Smudge Proof. That is not true. This eyeliner definitely does smudge, but my good golly is it pigmented and I absolutely love this eyeliner. So we're gonna hang on to that. Oh, oh my God. This has got to be like 10 years old, if not more. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie collab, the On Edge Longwear Eye Pencil. And this is an X, X Stacy. Oh my God, why do I still have this? Oh, it's still gorgeous though, look at that. That is insane, this is so freaking old. <laughs> if you guys have been following me literally since the start of my YouTube channel, when I used to do more makeup content, you guys will probably recognize this. I cannot believe I still have this. That is insane. I'm gonna hang on to that because like, look at that. That's actually like pretty decent. I mean, it might be expired, but oh well. And then I have all of these Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, lip liners. This is the first edition of his lip liners and they're not very good. They're very, very drying. So I actually use these as eyeliners and I am gonna hang on to all of these. All right, what's next? Oh boy, okay. Uh, we have the ColourPop Freckle Pen. This one is, this is a really fun thing. I'm really glad I bought this because I really like it. You can basically just do little freckles kind of thing and it still looks like it works good. So I'm gonna hang on to this. Oh my gosh, next we have a LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil and this is in Seashells. Gosh, I've had this for 
really long time. But it works really good as a base or as an eyeliner, so I'm probably going to hang on to this. Uh, next, we have a Spirit Halloween freckle marker. Oh, that one's pretty fun, too. Look at that. And then you just kind of tap it out with your finger a little bit. Huh, that's cool. So, yeah, and this is literally, literally from Spirit Halloween. Let's see. Next, we have a Deck of Scarlet Long Lasting Eyeliner in Goddess. Ooh, this one's like a, like a sparkly eyeliner. Huh, that's kind of fun. I guess I could use this as like an eyeshadow base, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to hang on to that, too. And next, we have another Spirit Halloween product. <laughs> And this is a, oh god, this is a gel eyeliner, eyeliner gel thing. So let's, is it gel or, it looks like just a regular eyeliner. Look how pigmented that is. That's like really black too. Huh. That's actually kind of fun. I think I'll actually hang on to that. I'm actually impressed. Like this is a Spirit Halloween product and it actually works pretty darn good. Okay, and that is everything that we have for drawer number one. I'm quickly just going to wipe all of these down and then we will restock everything, I guess. So let me go get my cleaning stuff and then I'll probably wash my hands too. So I will be right back. Cleaning them actually just made them worse because it just like spread all of the crap all around. So um, I might have to use bleach on these ones. So let me go try that really quick. Okay, so even with the bleach, it did not come off. So I think we're just gonna have to deal with the staining of these. So now that everything is clean, I guess, um, let's go ahead and restock this drawer. This drawer is completely done now, so we have brows, eye pencils, and liquid eyeliners, and freckle pens. We are going to move on to the next drawer, which is of course more higher end stuff. So let's just get right down to it. So in this one, we have a lot of Laura Mercier, we have Melt Cosmetics, Bobbi Brown, Stila, some MAC stuff. This one, I know a great majority of this is very expired. The reason why I know that is because I don't really use high-end stuff all that often. So this is going to be pretty easy. Like I have a feeling this drawer is going to be pretty darn empty when we're done. The first things that I know I'm going to keep are my Melt Cosmetics stacks. I have... I have two of them, and I absolutely love, 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 love Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows, especially these little stacks right here. These are what I reach for the most out of this drawer, so I'm definitely going to hang on to those for sure. What I know I'm going to get rid of are these. These are the... I don't even know what the hell these are. These are the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Glimmer Powder. I got these in a mystery box when I was reviewing her products a while ago, and... I don't ever reach for these, and to be perfectly honest with you, I don't like Jaclyn Hill as a person, so I don't want to hold on to these. Now, there are some Jaclyn Cosmetics stuff that I do like and I'm going to keep, but when it comes to these loose glimmer powders, I'm not going to keep them. I don't like them. I don't use them. I don't really even know what the hell they're for, so these I'm going to trash. Um, oh my gosh, this is another really old, old, old thing. I think I've actually repurchased this a couple times, but this is the, if you guys remember Mary Kay, 
Growing up, my mom absolutely loved Mary Kay, and this eyeshadow, I honestly totally forgot about it, but I love this eyeshadow so much. This is the eyeshadow in Cinnabar. Just looks like that. It's literally one of my favorite brown eyeshadows I've ever tried. And I'm actually going to keep this because I'm very excited. I did not think I had this anymore. Uh, next, we have a very old Bobbi Brown eyeshadow, like a shimmer eyeshadow. I don't really reach for this much anymore. I much prefer the Stila highlighters for eyeshadow, so I'm gonna get rid of this Bobbi Brown. Okay, this one I'm definitely gonna hang on to. I use this one a lot. This is my Stila Kitten highlighter. I remember back in the day when this used to be like the it product. Everybody loved this eyeshadow and I still do. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I have a extremely old MAC pressed MAC pigment and this is the blue brown pigment. I don't even remember the last time I used this and it is extremely old. So we're gonna get rid of it. Next, we have a couple more MAC eyeshadows that are probably so expired, they're probably older than me at this point. Like, yeah, like that just doesn't look, that doesn't look very healthy anymore. So we have this one, this is in Satin Taupe. I used to really like that one. And then we have this one in the shade Scene, kind of like a gray, but again, it just doesn't look very healthy on the top. So we're gonna get rid of these. Okay, these in here, these are all Laura Mercier eyeshadow sticks, the caviar, caviar sticks. They're basically like eyeshadow kind of things, like you can put these on and you can use them as a base. These I have had for way too long and I know for a fact that these are very expired. Oh God, I can smell that one. That one's really bad. But I mean, they're really cool. They're really fun. But I just don't reach for them very often. But I do know the times that I have reached for them. They worked really well and I really liked them. But I just don't, I just don't have a use for them. And yeah, they all really kind of stink. So I think I'm going to get rid of these. As much as it pains me, I actually might keep, I actually might keep this brown this brown shade if it's a good ooh okay yeah I'm gonna hang on to this brown shade because when it comes to eyeshadows I mostly wear browns and I feel like that would be a really good base but the rest of them I don't think I'm gonna hold on to these let's see which one are you are you a shimmer yeah okay wait I should probably make sure this brown one doesn't stink Okay, this one's not too bad, but I probably won't get very many uses out of it. Just cause, whoa, are you a black one? What? I mean, I've obviously used it before. Oh, yep, we're gonna, we're gonna hang on to this black one as well. That looks really nice. Okay, so out of all of them, I'm keeping two and the rest we'll get rid of. Next, we have, oh my gosh, okay. So again, if you guys have been following me for a really long time, you might recognize this. This is from a very large Sephora palette that I used to have, and it came with this little, uh, this little palette where you could put, like, you could pop out the eyeshadows and, like, put some in here for travel. Well, I got rid of that palette, but I kept three of my favorite rows from it, and oh my gosh, look at these things. That is insane. So I kept like the greens, the browns of course, which you can tell I obviously love, and this kind of like shimmery, sunsetty gold moment. Yeah, that's fun. I'm gonna hang on to that just for nostalgic purposes. These are, oh wow. Okay, I know the Stila ones are definitely expired, but these are the um, Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. If you guys remember these, I remember when I got these, I was so excited because like, literally everyone on YouTube had these, like these were such an it thing. And once I got these, I felt like I finally fit in. And I actually really liked these, but these are just, oh my God, these are just centuries old, like, 
Like that is just so crusted. Ugh. Okay, yeah. So the steel ones are gonna go. The cover girl one, I think this is relatively Okay, yeah, that one's still pretty good. But I mean, I don't I honestly don't know if I eh. I guess it's okay. Let's compare it to this pixie one first. Ooh, okay. okay. So this pixie one feels a little bit kind of dry and weird. So I think I'll keep the CoverGirl one for a little bit. I don't know why this is in the high end. That doesn't make any sense. I just realized that. Next we have a um, Laura Mercier Caviar, Caviar Chrome Veil Lightweight Liquid Eyeshadow. Let's make sure. It's a really pretty color. I just don't know if it's, if it's good anymore. Okay, yeah, it's still, yeah, it's still good. It's still got some life left in her, so we will hang on to this for a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, you guys, we got rid of so, so much in here. Well, now what we're gonna do is we're going to quickly clean these out, and then we will restock. You guys okay so here's the high-end drawer all done look at that it's like pretty much empty now that is insane so I think we did pretty good on this I'm really glad with everything that we decluttered now we can move on to the third drawer so we're almost halfway there and this one as you can see is quite full this is my foundations concealers and primer drawer so Whew, buckle up and let's get started because this is going to be a long one. So I think what we're going to do first is we're going to go through my primers. So the only primers that I really, really like to use are the Laura Mercier ones. And as you can see, I have quite a few of them. And a majority of these I'm going to keep because I do use these quite a bit. So uh, this first one is, this one's like almost empty, but this is just the standard Laura Mercier foundation primer. Just looks like this. I absolutely love this one, so we're gonna keep that one. We have a, another one that's the same thing, but this one is hydrating. This one I use a lot with a certain foundation that I use, which we will talk about later. So I'm gonna hold on to the hydrating one. I have a, Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. This one is also hydrating and silicone free. I'm gonna hang on to this one. I have a, another Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer and this one is the blurring one. I really, really like this one, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Uh, this one, I have a Pure Canvas Primer and this one is protecting and this one has an SPF of 30. I use this one a lot in the summertime. I mean, I know you should use SPF all year round, but this one I mostly use in like the spring and the summer because in Michigan during like the fall and winter months, we don't really get a whole lot of sun. The only one that I'm not going to keep is the uh, Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer, and this is the illuminating one. So this one kind of gives you like a dewy appearance. I'm gonna get rid of this one because I have very, very oily skin, and I don't need any more shine to my face than I already have, so I don't really have a use for this one, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Uh, next, it looks like we have a NYX Pro Foundation Mixer. This is literally just like a white foundation, and I love this stuff because if I get a foundation that is a little bit too dark for me, I'll mix in a little bit of this white to lighten it, and it works really well. So I'm definitely going to hang on to that. Uh, it looks like I also have a Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is very old, and I can't remember the last time I used this because I mostly use the Laura Mercier Primer, so 
I don't really have a use for this anymore, so I'm probably gonna trash that one. Let's move on to some concealers. So I have two Jeffree Star Cosmetics concealers. I have this one, which is a pale yellow. I use this underneath my eyes sometimes, so I'm gonna hang on to that. And then I have another concealer. This one is in the shade C7, and I'm gonna hold on to that as well. I love the Jeffree Star Cosmetics concealers. I really wish she would come out with a foundation because that would just be amazing. Next, we have a Laura Mercier concealer. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I love this one as well, so I'm gonna hang on to that one. I also have the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This one is okay. I find it to be a little bit, I don't know, a little too thick, a little too drying, but I'm just gonna set it off to the side for now. And I have three of these CoverGirl, or wait, two of the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealers. I have one in Golden Ivory and one in Fair Porcelain. And I think I'm gonna hang on to, I'm only gonna keep one of these, but I don't know which one I wanna keep. Ooh, actually, these really smell. I've had these for a long time. Ugh, yeah, both of these really stink, so I'm gonna get rid of both of the CoverGirl ones. And I also have a ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This one, I don't really use that much, and I don't know why, because I really like it. It smells okay, so I think I'll hang on to that one, and hmm. I think I'm gonna keep the ColourPop one and then I'll get rid of the e.l.f. one because I think I like the ColourPop one a little bit more. Next, I have a Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. So on this side, it's like a little corrector concealer stick. And then on the other side is a brightener, kind of like another stick. I never use these. I much prefer liquid concealer, so I'm probably not going to keep this. And then I have a Artistry concealer. Just looks like this. I have had this for a really long time, and I've also repurchased this many, many times. And this one is just a really thick concealer. It does a good job of covering stuff. It does, it really, really smells like Play-Doh. Like, it doesn't smell good at all, and I'm probably not gonna keep it, just because I don't, Ooh, wait, actually, oh, I wish it didn't smell because I like to use this to cut my crease sometimes when I do cut creases, but uh, I'm probably gonna part with it just because it does smell, but I do really like this stuff for cutting the crease. And this is also in medium. Oh, I really wish it didn't smell bad because it still works good. I used it recently, but mm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna part with this just because it smells. And this is all of my foundation. So in the beginning of this one, when I told you about the hydrating primer and I like to use it with a certain foundation, this is the foundation I'm talking about. I did a first impressions on this when I saw it go viral on TikTok. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour hybrid powder foundation. Oh my God, you guys. I love this foundation so much. Like, I've hit so much pan on this. This is a fantastic foundation. I absolutely love, love, love this. So I am 100% gonna hold on to this. This is one of my favorite foundations I've ever tried. The next one that I'm definitely going to keep is my Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. This is $5 at Dollar General, and this is hands down my favorite liquid foundation ever on the planet. It is so good, so I'm definitely gonna hang on to this. The other one I know I'm gonna keep is this CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. And this one is, it's a BB cream, but it wears like a foundation, but it's not as heavy. And I really like this as well, so I'm definitely gonna hold on to this one. This is the Kat Von D Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. This stuff is okay, but it's really, really dark. I don't have the right color for it, and I want to try it again because I think they, like, reformulated it or something, so I want to get this again, but I want to get it in the right color, so I think I'm going to part with this just because it's way too dark for me, but I did like it when I tried it, but it's just, it's very old and it's just way too dark. 
Uh, this one I'm probably going to have to part with, but this is my Dior Skin Forever Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Foundation. This I've had since 2018, and I've just kept it because I've never owned a Dior foundation before. But oh my gosh, I really, really liked it. I think it's like almost gone too, but it's it's really old. It's expired. Oh, but my god, did I love this stuff. I loved this foundation so much, and I just felt so cool that I had a Dior foundation. I really like it. If I could afford it, I would get another one, but I just don't... I just don't see the point in buying really expensive foundations when A, I don't really wear foundation much anymore, and B, there are drugstore, like this one is $5, and it works just as good, if not better. So I'm probably gonna part with my Dior one, even though it really hurts, because it's just so beautiful, and I just, I loved it. The ex I think this was actually a birthday present from one of my coworkers at my old job. Oh, okay, all right, let's just do it. Ah! All right, the next one I think I'm gonna part with is my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I love this foundation, love it. Have no issues with it, except every single time I use this, I break out something fierce. It is, it makes me break out so bad, but it's, I think it's still pretty good, but... Yeah, I don't know. It just, for whatever reason, it always makes me break out in like little pimples all over my face after I use it. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna stop this in the maybe pile for now. Just, just in the maybe pile. All right, next I have a couple of Laura Mercier tinted moisturizers. For some reason, I can never get these to look good on me. Like, I, j I can never blend these out properly. They're really good, but they don't look good on my skin. Like, the older I get and the more my skin ages, tinted moisturizers are harder for me than regular foundations. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. So I'm probably going to part with bo both of these just because I don't use them because every time I try to use them, it never goes well. So I'm going to part with those. And I'm pretty sure they're also like two years old at this point. All right, this one I'm probably going to hang on to. This is my Laura Mercier Flawless Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I do really like this. I think I did a first impression on most of these foundations if you guys are interested. And from what I remember, I really like this one. So I'll hang on to this one as well. The ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I really liked this when I tried it, but I bought it online and it's not the right color. Like it says it's light. But it definitely is very, very dark, and it does oxidize quite a bit on me. So I'm probably going to part with this just because I don't need a super dark foundation unless I want to blend it down my body, my neck, my arms, you know. So I'm going to get rid of this one. It's, it's a good foundation. It's just too dark. Um, this one I'm going to hang on to because I am almost done with it, and I do really like it. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Complete Foundation. I really like this one for like concerts or events or things like that when I know I'm gonna need like really good full coverage long wear out of it. So I'm gonna keep this one because I do really like it. And these two, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is in Soft Beige. I liked it the first time I tried it, and then every other time I've tried to use this, I, I'm i very indifferent about it. Like, it's not my favorite, but it's not the worst, and this is very old now, and it's starting to smell... Ooh, yeah, it smells straight up like paint, so I'm gonna part with this, get rid of this one. I think this is like my third bottle of this stuff, so I mean, I've definitely gotten my use out of it, but... Yeah, it's just, it's time for this one to go because it just like really smells at this point. And then this one is my newest one. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. This is in beige. Just looks like that. I used to really like this back in the day when I started my channel and this one's okay. I'll probably hang on to it for a little bit longer just because it is still relatively new. It's not my favorite. I probably won't keep it for very much longer, but I at least want to get a couple more uses out of it. So I will hang on to that one. And I've thought more about the NARS one and I'm definitely, I'm going to part with this just because I, 
just going back and looking at like pictures and stuff like it, it really my skin just does not like this stuff it breaks out every single time so I'm gonna part with this one all right I think we did pretty good on this one so again I'm just gonna go through and clean these really quick just wipe them down and then we can restock this drawer and we can move on to drawer number four Okay, and here's what this drawer looks like. Oh my gosh, this one is so satisfying. I love how everything looks. So we definitely narrowed it down because this drawer, if you guys remember from the beginning, it was quite overwhelming, quite a lot going on, and now it just looks a lot more organized. I can actually see the stuff that I like and the stuff that I actually use. So I'm very, very happy with how this drawer came out because this one, out of all my drawers, was bugging me the most. So now that it's all cleaned and organized, I feel much better. So now we can close this one and move on to loose and pressed powders. This one's gonna go pretty quick because I already know which ones I wanna keep and which ones I want to get rid of. So right here in the front, we have all of my pressed powders and I have one by CoverGirl, I have a Maybelline Fit Me, and I also have a Laura Mercier one, and out of the three of them, I'm gonna keep just one, and that's gonna be the Laura Mercier one because I like this one a little bit more than these two. I just don't reach for these very much. I'm gonna part with these two and just keep the Laura Mercier one. Uh, this next drawer is loose powders. First, we have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics loose powder, which I absolutely love. This is my second time purchasing this. This is in the color beige. It smells like cotton candy, and it literally makes your face look freaking photoshopped when you use this. I love this stuff, so I'm gonna hang on to that one. I also have a Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I like to use this one underneath my eyes, and I also like to use it uh, for baking as well. I'm pretty, it's almost gone, so I'm gonna hang on to it and just use up what's left. Uh, next, I have a Laura Mercier Travel Size. This is the translucent honey. So this one does have a little bit of color to it. This one I like to use in the summertime, uh, but it is like a little travel size, so I'm gonna hang on to that one. This one is very, very old, and I'm gonna part with it. This is my Kat Von D Translucent Setting Powder. There is a little bit left so I actually might hang on to this. Uh, moving on we have more, this is literally all loose setting powder so I'm going to take out these little inserts. Oh very tight fit in here. Okay, I'm going to move those up so we can see better. So all of these and over here is all Laura Mercier. This, this is all Laura Mercier translucent setting powders. They always used to send me a bunch of these in PR, and this is hands down, without a doubt, I would die on this hill saying this, but Laura Mercier translucent setting powder is hands down my all-time favorite. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five of these. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. They used to send me so much of this in PR. So I'm going to hang on to all of these and I'm gonna get rid of the Marilyn Mon the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe Translucent Loose Powder with Rosehip Oil. Actually, it almost is the exact same. Oh, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. So I have this Laura Mercier Brightening Powder that I just talked about. This is literally, like as I'm reading the back of it, this is literally almost the exact same thing as this. So I'm gonna get rid of the small one and I'm gonna keep this one. And then same with this, I have a large size of the uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Honey, the exact same as this right here. I'm gonna keep the big one and part with the small one. And then over here, I have a, another Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is a natural illuminating uh, setting powder. I do not like this stuff. 
because it makes me look like a crystal ball. Like it makes me so incredibly shiny and I know some people, especially people who don't have oily skin, really like that look. I do not because if I wear this, with my oily skin, it makes me look so oily, it's disgusting. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And I also have a Laura Mercier luminescent translucent powder. I'm gonna get rid of this one too, just because I don't, I don't wear, you know, um, what the heck am I trying to say? Glowy setting powders, I don't, because I already have oily skin and these just make me look even more oily. And then I just have these really cool like Laura Mercier little puffs and I just think they're cute, so I'm gonna hang on to those. Okay, so I'm gonna take everything out and we will go ahead and clean this drawer and then we will restock everything. And then here's what this drawer looks like all done. So we just put the unopened ones and the powder puffs over here. We put the ones that are open that I'm currently using over here. We have the other two right here. We have a little travel size one and then my only pressed powder over here. So yeah, this looks much better and much more clean and much more practical for my life because I'm one person, one face, and I wear makeup only a few times a month. So this is much more manageable, I think. So we have two drawers left. Next is all of my bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. This one, Oh boy, we have a lot of stuff in here. So let's just go ahead and get started and break this all down. So over here, it looks like we have a couple of these CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cooling Glow Sticks. And I can't remember, but I don't ever use these. The only reason I don't use these is because I wear foundation and you can't really wear these over foundation and they don't look that good on my skin by themselves. So I'm probably just gonna part with these cause I just, I don't ever reach for them. Next, it looks like we have a couple of blushes. This is the NARS Deep Throw Blush. I really, really like this one. Even though it is kind of old, it still works really well. It doesn't smell bad or anything, so I'm gonna hang on to this one. It does need a really, really good clean though, because this one is super, super dirty. I have this one, which is also really old. This is a Laura Mercier blush. This is in Rose Bloom. Now, okay, I'm kind of, I don't know if weird or gross is the word, but I, a lot of this stuff is like over 10 years old. <laughs> but I feel like when it comes to blushes and bronzers, I feel like you can make them last for a really, really long time. Like this one I've had probably since 2012, 2013, but it still works good and I still really like it. So I'm gonna hang on to it. Next we have a, this is not a brand. This literally came in a Halloween makeup kit. This is a little blush that went along with like a Halloween Chucky makeup kit. But oh my lord, you guys, this blush is so good. I don't know what it is about this Halloween makeup blush, but it is amazing, okay? So I'm gonna keep this because it's just too good. It's way too good to throw out. This one I am gonna part with. This is a Madame Glam blush. If you guys remember, this is like super old. They don't make makeup anymore. They used to and I really liked it, but they don't do it anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of this just because it's, you know, over 10 years old and you know, if I did use it in a video and someone wanted to buy it, they couldn't because it literally no longer exists. So I'm gonna part with this one. I also have a Sephora blush. This one is T-Rose Tickle. 
I really like this one too, but I much prefer the Laura Mercier one a little bit more. So I'm gonna part with this one. And this blush is my all-time favorite. This is a little sample size by Tarte, and this one is called Party. I love this one. As you can see, I've hit pan on it. This is my all-time favorite blush I've ever used. I'm definitely gonna hang on to that one. Moving on, oh my lord, okay, let's take all this stuff out and move this up. Let's do my bronzer. So my bronzers are over here. This one is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This one is still relatively new, and I do like it, but I don't know. I kind of find the smell revolting. It kind of has like a beachy coconut smell to it, and... It's honestly kind of gross, like I can't stand the smell of it, but it is a really good bronzer, so I'm gonna hang on to it just because it is still relatively new and I wanna use it. I wanna get my money's worth out of it. Another really good bronzer that I love is my Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. I've been using this one a lot. This one is in 021 Sunlight. I love this one. Drugstores have really good bronzers. Like, you don't need to get high-end bronzers because the drugstore honestly just freaking slaps when it comes to bronzers. So, I'm definitely going to hang on to this one. And then I have two high-end ones. This is another one of my all-time favorites. I use this one very sparingly because I'm going to be really, really sad once this runs out. But this is my Laura Mercier Soleil bronzer. This is in the shade 1 just looks like that. It is it is phenomenal. Like, I love this bronzer so much, but I try not to use it too much because I don't want it to run out, and I'm almost, almost hitting pan on this one. And next is my NARS Laguna bronzer. This used to be a fan favorite back in, like, the prime beauty guru days, and I absolutely love it, but unfortunately, as you can see, it is busted, and I can't really use it anymore. So this one is going to have to go bye bye And then the only other thing left in here are my highlighters. I love highlighters. I know a lot of people don't really use highlighters anymore, but I love highlighters. Love them. So this first one I know I'm going to keep is my Wet n Wild highlighting powder. This is the Mega Glow, and this is in the shade Precious Petals. Seriously, one of my favorite highlighters ever. I use this one a lot, so I'm going to hang on to that one. Next, we have a Jaclyn Cosmetics Duo. This is the Bronzer Blush Duo, and this is the Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. I got this one to try it, and it's honestly not that bad. So we have the bronzer over here and the blush over here. It's actually okay. I definitely prefer the bronzer more than the blush. I don't know why it's over here. It should be with the yeah, anyway, um, I like the bronzer more than the blush. The blush kind of sucks, but the bronzer is really good. So I'm going to hang on to this one. This. This right here. Besides my Jeffree Star cosmetic stuff, this is my all-time favorite thing that I have in my makeup collection. Jaclyn Hill came out with this highlighting palette. Um, it's called The Flash. And she came out with this, I want to say... 2019, 2020, a, a couple years ago. And she came out with this as a limited edition. And I wanted to try it to review it because this was, I think, one of the first things she released after the lipstick gate thing. And when I got this, when I tried this, I fell in love. Same thing with that Laura Mercier bronzer. When this runs out, I don't know what I'm going to do because I am so in love with this. It is so beautiful. It is so gorgeous. As you can see with how like dirty it is, I use this all the time. I do not like Jaclyn Hill as a person, but this freaking palette right here, like if my house was on fire, this is probably one of the first things that I would say out of my makeup collection because it is just so good. I love this thing with such a passion. If I knew it was going to be that good, I would have gotten like four of these. I am obsessed, obsessed with this. This is my favorite highlighting palette ever. It is so good. Um, these other Jaclyn, what are these, highlighters? Uh... 
yeah, highlighters, yeah. Uh, these also came in that mystery box that I wanted to review for my channel, and these just don't compare to this. So I think I'm gonna part with these two and keep this one. I just, I don't ever reach for these because I like that other one so much more. And I just, I don't know. This whole mystery box debacle was so annoying. If you guys watched my video on that, it was so fucked up. I shouldn't have even got these. So yeah, I'm just gonna part with these. Uh, next, we have quite a few Laura Mercier highlighters. This one is in the shade Devotion. Just looks like that. I don't know which one I want to keep yet. Ooh, this one I know I'm going to keep. This is the Laura Mercier Highlight 01. Really, really nice highlighter right here. If you want like a high-end highlighter, this one is it. So I know I'm going to hang on to that one. And then I have another one, and this one is called Indiscretion. Just looks like that. This one is a little bit too dark for me, I think. I think that's why I don't use it very much. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna part with both of these because I still have a bunch of Jeffree Star Cosmetics highlighters that are with my Jeffree Star stuff, so, and I'd rather use those than these. So I'm gonna part with these two and I'm gonna keep this one right here. The last one is a CoverGirl highlighter right here. This one's really good too. This one's very comparable to the Wet n Wild one that I showed you guys. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow and this is in the shade, oh Pearl Crush, that's what this one is called. This one is really good too. I really like it so I'm gonna hang on to that one as well. I'm sure you guys know the drill by now. We're gonna clean these out and restock. Alright, and here we go. So I have highlighters over here. I have bronzer here and I didn't have room so I just, actually I'll switch these two. So I have bronzers right here and then blush right here. So this is much more perfect. This is all I need and I kept all of my favorite things. So I'm very happy with this one. Now let's move on to the final drawer. We have one final drawer and then all of my makeup has finally been decluttered. This one is all eyeshadow palettes, kind of like drug story kind of eyeshadow palettes. And this one is going to be a little bit hard for me because I have such a thing with eyeshadow palettes. Like, I don't know what it is, but I think eyeshadow palettes are my favorite thing to hold on to and collect, kind of. So, this one, I don't know how much we will be getting rid of, but at least we'll be able to go through them kind of one by one. Even though some of these I don't really use that much, it, there's just like a there's like a connection, there's like an obsession that I just, I have to hold on to them. I don't know why, but I love eyeshadow palettes and I love collecting them. Uh, this one has a bunch of stuff in it. Like I said, we have drugstore, we have some eyeshadow palettes that don't even exist anymore. So this first one on top is a Deck of Scarlet uh, Z palette with a bunch of eyeshadows in it. I used to work with Deck of Scarlet for like, um collaborations and stuff like that and they used to send me a bunch of like you know these little eyeshadows in the Z palette and I just put them all in here. This one I'm going to hold on to because Deck of Scarlet actually has really good eyeshadows. Mostly I use like a lot of the browns and stuff but a lot of these are just so freaking pretty. I cannot part with this. Like I just can't. I do really like this even though there's some of these that I've never used before. I really do enjoy this, so I'm definitely going to hang on to this little Z palette right here. Um, this one, I've actually been using quite a bit, and this is the CoverGirl uh, Chocoholic True Naked palette, and you can probably guess which shade I use the most, but this is just like a lot of browns and stuff, and if you guys remember, I talked about how brown eyeshadows are some of my all-time favorites, so I'm going to hold on to this because I absolutely love this brown shade right here. This is like an everyday shade for me, so I'm going to hold on to this palette as well, and it still smells like chocolate. Like, it's pretty crazy. 
But yeah, this palette is literally scented and it smells like hot chocolate. I love it. Next, we have a Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Do you guys remember this? Holy shit balls! This is so freaking old, but oh my gosh, was it popular. Uh, even though this I do not believe exists anymore and there's a lot of controversy surrounding Kat Von D, I love this palette. Again, because of the nude shades, because of the brown shades, this black is absolutely amazing. It's just, it's a good palette. It's really good and it still works good. The pigmentation is still there. The blendability is still there. So I'm going to hold on to that one. This one is probably my favorite one that I have. This one, I saw a YouTuber talk about this, and this is the Shared Planet Tiger Collection eyeshadow palette. If you guys don't know this about me, tigers are my favorite wild animal. And this one, oh, like look at this. I don't know if you can still get this. I would look up Shared Planet Tiger collection to see if it's still available. I honestly don't know, but I love this palette so much. It is so incredibly pigmented. It is so beautiful. And all of the names of these eyeshadows have something to do with tigers. And I think the proceeds from buying this palette went to save endangered um, tigers. I think it was Bengal tigers. So I thought that was really cool and I wanted to support the cause. So that's another reason why I got it. But we have Siberian, Tiger Eye, Whiskers, Paw Print, Fiery, Lush, Roar, Claude, Shere Khan. Love that. Predator, Bengal, and Stripes. Like it's just such a cool palette and it's so beautiful. And again, one of the most pigmented eyeshadow palettes I've ever used in my life. Like this will, if you get this palette, this is a lifetime palette because you only need a little bit and it's so pigmented. So I'm 1000% gonna hang on to this one. I have another CoverGirl palette here. This one I don't think I've used very much, but this is the CoverGirl True Naked Sunsets palette. I don't really use this, to be honest, and I much prefer the chocolate palette over this one. So I think I actually might part with this one. Oh my god. Okay, this one, this one right here. This is an LA Colors palette from the literal dollar store, but I'm going to keep this probably forever. Because if you guys, if you guys watch, I did this video a few years ago, but it was how I did my makeup in high school. And this was the palette that I used all throughout high school. I loved this so much and I'm definitely 1000% going to hang on to this because it's just like a nostalgic thing and I literally bought this online brand new for that video. And it's just, it's just a funny story behind it. So I'm going to... I'm gonna keep this because it's just funny. It's memories and I'm a very, I'm a very sentimental person when it comes to things and I just, I want to keep this. We have a BH Cosmetics palette and this is the Let That Shit Go palette and look how beautiful this is. Like it's got greens, lime greens. It is just such a beautiful, cool palette and I can't part with it. Like it's just too cool. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. I think I've only used this maybe one or two times, but again, I have a thing with palettes and I just, I can't let it go. And I just love the name of it. Like, let that shit go. Fucking genius. Oh boy, we have a, uh, another controversial Jaclyn palette here. We have the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill. This is the Vault Collection. This is the Armed and Gorgeous one. Just looks like that. I actually really liked this. I was very impressed with it when I tried it. This is not one of the um, new versions. This is the original. Because remember how like there was like that thing where the originals were really bad? Mine was actually good. So I'm going to hold on to this. And I do also still have my Jaclyn X Morphe big palette. I do still have that one as well. It's just over there with my other bigger palettes. Uh, this one is mostly just like smaller, more compact palettes. Uh, this one is the ColourPop Bambi. This is just like a little like travel palette. I, mm, I don't really use this one all that much, but I mean, it's really cute. Like look how like little and compact and it's, it's little Bambi on the front. It's, it's very cute, but I'll put this in the maybe because I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. Uh, we have another ColourPop one. This is the Orange You Glad 
ColourPop palette, and I got this because I really wanted a monochromatic orange palette because Jeffree Star, you know, he was doing his like monochromatic palettes, like he did Blood Money, Blue Blood, Blood Sugar, Pink Religion, you know, stuff like that. And he didn't ever come out with an orange one, and I wanted an all orange palette. So I got this one on ColourPop, and you know, it's orange and it's pretty, but it's not my favorite thing. But I do like it because of the orange shade, so I'm probably going to hold on to it just for that monochromatic feel. So I'm going <laughs> to hold on to that. Next we have this Pixie by Petra. This is a glittery eye quad, and this is in rose bronze. It's just really sparkly eyeshadows. I never use these, like, ever. Um, so I think this is actually going to be one that I get rid of because I just, I don't use it, you know? I mean, while they are absolutely stunning and gorgeous, I just, I don't use it. I never, ever use it. So we'll, we'll say goodbye to this one. We have another Pixie heart heart what is this i have no idea i have no idea what that says but this is just another like pixie eyeshadow palette again i don't i don't really reach for this one like i think i've only used one shade out of this and it's just it's not a very eye-catching palette to me i don't love it so i think i'm gonna part with this one as well next we have this elijah storm cosmetics this is the timeless palette this one I loved, loved, and as you can see, I've used it quite a bit. I did a few videos with this palette, I believe, and it's just basically all, all these eyeshadows are named after, like, famous people. So we have Queen, Shirley, Star, Hepburn, Dolly, Lucille, Crawford, Garland, King, Presley, Dean, Cash, Kennedy, Jackie, Marilyn, and 1960s. So it's just a very cool palette like I love the concept behind it and it's it's a lot of fun so I think I'm gonna hang on to this one as well and then the very last one in here is a palette that I don't think I've even opened yeah I haven't even opened this one yet that's crazy this is the hard candy Marilyn Monroe palette I think I got this as a Christmas gift a few years ago and yeah it's literally like it's not even opened like it still has the seal on it and everything I'm going to hang on to this one for a little bit longer just because it is Marilyn Monroe and yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of cool. So I'll probably hang on to this one for a little bit longer. And that is it for this drawer. So we literally only got rid of like two things out of this drawer. So I told you guys I have a thing with eyeshadow palettes. I just, I cannot part with them for whatever reason. So we're just going to give this a good wipe down and restock everything. I thought more about the ColourPop Bambi palette, and I think I'm going to part with this one too. Actually... Actually, you know what? I'm going to hang on to this and see if my sister wants it because my sister loves Disney films. So I'm not going to keep it, but I'm going to see if my sister will want it. So I'm going to set this off to the side for her. And here's what this drawer looks like all done. It basically doesn't look any different. The only thing is it just looks a little bit more organized. That's about it. But yeah, that is my little palette area. And those are all of the drawers all done and organized. Oh my gosh, this is so nice and so satisfying to look at now. So we did all six drawers and it is much more practical now. It makes so much more sense. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad I did that. I've been putting this off for way too long and I'm absolutely exhausted. Like my back and my knees hurt from sitting on the floor, but yeah. And then here's everything we got rid of so I think we put a pretty decent dent into everything like we did really good I think and then up here I just keep like lip liners eyeshadow brushes uh, these are like all of my face brushes I have mascara up here uh, beauty blenders setting sprays um, and then all of my lipsticks I think I told you guys in the beginning I think I got rid of like 50 
Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipsticks. And then I showed you guys this in the beginning, but I thought I'd show you a little bit more of an up-close view. So we just have mostly Jeffree Star Cosmetics palettes. So we have Bloodlust, Pricked, the Psychedelic Circus. These are my Skin Frost and another highlighter. This is a Supreme Frost. I have an Extreme Frost. I have his mascara. I have two highlighting palettes. I have the um, Cavity one and the Platinum Ice one. Down here we have all of my mini Jeffree Star Cosmetics palettes. I have every single one that he's ever done uh, right here. Here is where I have um, more random palettes. Like I have my uh, Chucky Glam Light palette. I still have my Urban Decay Electric palette, which is an oldie. I have my um, Naked Heat palette, and then I have Naked 3 right here. I also have Naked 2, and of course the original Urban Decay Naked palette, which they no longer make anymore. So I snagged this right before they discontinued it completely. And down here I have every single Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette that he's ever come out with, except for Scorpion. I still have not gotten the Scorpio palette yet. I'm waiting to get that one, but I think it's out of stock right now, so that's the only one I have to get. But I have the Alien palette, which he no longer makes. I have Gothic Beach, Blue Blood, Conspiracy, Blood Money, uh, two Blood Sugars. This is the limited edition one. So Blood Sugar, Blood Sugar, Pink Religion, the Cotton Candy Queen. I have Beauty Killer, Beauty Killer 2, Androgyny, Thirsty, Jawbreaker, Cremated, Banana Fetish, Orgy, Cremated, and then here is my Jaclyn X Morphe palette that I told you guys about that I still have. Um, I put it with these ones just because it is a larger palette, so I just kind of put it in there, but yeah, and then down here is just empty shelves because I don't, I don't have stuff to put there because I decluttered a lot, so yeah, that is everything. I need to put all this back. <laughs> Alrighty guys, and that is it for my makeup declutter video. That is all the makeup that I have. It is officially all decluttered and cleaned up and organized and put away. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, make sure you go down and give a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye! Mwah.